Hey everybody and welcome to The Love Chest. My name is Adi Ronke Adibanjo, creator of The Love Chest. First of all, I wanna give a big shout out to all the good men out there. We see you, we know you're out there, so shout out to you. Now ladies, can I just put a side note there? You know, many times, some of us find ourselves saying, there are no good men out there. All the men in Lagos, for example, are bad. That isn't true. And the more you think that, the more you will only attract a bad man. Because at the end of the day, there's power in what you say. You keep saying there are only bad men out there, that's what you're gonna get. But that's not really what I wanna talk about today. I'd like to share with you ladies some questions that you can ask yourself to figure out whether the man that's standing in front of you is a good man. I've got 21 questions. Yep, 21. 21 questions that you can ask. Now, this list of questions is certainly not exhaustive. There's so many other questions you need to be asking yourself, but I just wanted to throw these ones out there. So let me know some of the questions that you've probably asked yourself uh, when you found yourself in the same situation trying to figure out if the man is the right man. Uh, let me know in the comment section what some of those questions are. But let's get into it. 21 questions that you need to ask yourself because you know how it is. How do you identify a good man? You know, If he's standing in front of you, how do you know? Are you focusing on the wrong things? Are you paying attention to the right things? Have you let a good man go because you just didn't know what to look out for? Hopefully these questions will help. Number one, does he contribute to your happiness? I am of the opinion that nobody is responsible for your happiness. You are, but some people can take your happiness from you. So you have to ask yourself, does this man contribute to your happiness? When he's around you, when he's with you, does he make you feel good? Does he make you happy? If not, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not so sure he's a good man for you. Um, like I said, nobody's responsible for your happiness, but people can add to or they could subtract from your happiness. And you'll know if he's a good man if he's contributing and adding to your happiness. Question number two, does he make you smile? Kind of similar to happiness, but does he make you smile? You know, when you think about him, what comes to mind? A smile or something else? When he's around you, does he make you smile? That's something to consider. And you'll know over time if this person makes you smile or not. Maybe in the first few dates, maybe in the first few hangouts, you might not quite pick it up. But as things start to settle in, if you're now in the relationship, you'll know. Number three, kind of similar to number one, but not quite. Does he make you feel good overall about life, about yourself, about situations? Does this man that you're with make you feel good? Some men don't make you feel good. So you want to make sure that the man that you're with makes you feel good, you know? and. You can't really explain feeling good, right? You just feel good. Don't deceive yourself. You'll know when you feel good. And if you're not feeling good, maybe he's not a good man. Number four, is he kind? Very important. And if you plan on marrying this man, he better be kind because you're going to need a kind man all of your life. And kind in his gestures, you know, you'll know what kind is. I don't think I need to define kind, right? We all know what kind is. If a person's kind, they're kind. If they're not kind, they're not kind. But I would be like to believe that a good man is a kind man. And also look out for how he treats other people, you know? Um, he might be kind to you, but is he kind to the waiter when you guys go out to eat? Is he kind to the gate man? Is he kind to your driver? You know, is he kind? That's a question to ask yourself. Number five, does he encourage you? You want a man that encourages you and a good man will encourage you because he's interested in you and he's interested in your well-being. So if you're trying to figure out if he's a good man, just ask yourself over time, does this man even encourage me? I mean, when I tell him about stuff that I'm either going through, stuff I'm trying to figure out, does he encourage me? Um, and you'll know. And you're going to need that, especially if you're planning on marrying this man. So something to think about. Number six, does he lift you up? Very similar to encouraging. You know, when you're feeling down, is he the person that you would call to lift your spirits? Now, don't get me wrong. 
he's not God, <laughs> all right? And he's going to have his off days as well. So maybe the day that you need him to lift you up every now and again, he might not be in a good place himself to be able to do that. He's not God. But over time and in general, does he lift you up? Do you feel good around him? When you're going through, is he, is he the person to call, you know? When you have good news, is he the person to call? Some of these are things that you have to figure out when you're in a relationship, but others you might be able to pick up even before you decide to make it official. All right, number seven, is he generous? Now there are different levels of generosity. You've got the guy who splurges on you because he's trying to show off. That's not quite what I mean. Is his generosity unique to you? Or does he spread the love? You want a man who spreads the love. Because if he's just being generous to just you, but he's stingy with other people, hmm, that's questionable. So ask yourself, if you're trying to figure out if he's a good man, is he generous? Number eight. Oh, and this one's a good one, and I'm sure the ladies would agree with this one. Does he listen? <laughs> Men, if you're watching this, we like to talk. And sometimes we like to talk because we just need to get stuff off our chest. We're not asking you to solve the problem. We're not asking you to give us a solution. We're not asking you for anything. We just need you to sit there and listen. So ladies, if you're trying to figure out if he's a good man, does he listen? You know, when you're talking, is he distracted most of the time? Because, you know, again, he's not God. Every now and then he might be distracted. But is he paying attention? You know, is he, is he nodding? Is he asking follow-up questions? Is he interested? And he shows that by listening. Is he someone you can talk to because you know that he's attentive and he's listening? A good man listens to his woman. Number nine, does he make you laugh? Laughter does, or laughter does the body good, just like medicine does. And if you're going to live with this person for all of your life, he better make you laugh from time to time. Um, now, I'm not saying he cracks jokes and he's hilarious, he makes you laugh all the time and he's a comedian, no. But can he see the lighter side or the brighter side in li of life? Um, can he make you laugh, you know? If he can, he's a good catch. Keep him, all things being equal, of course. Number 10, does he tell you how much he cares about you? It's important for him to be able to articulate that. Can he tell you, I really care about you, you mean a lot to me. Now, not everybody's expressive with words, but I honestly believe that if he's really into you and he's a good catch, he will be able to express that verbally um, as the relationship progresses. And if he is able to, again, all things being equal, he's a good man. All right, ladies, 10 down, 11 more to go. So here's number 11 if you're trying to figure out if he's a good man. Does he make you want to be a better person? This person that you're with, when you're around him, when you're talking to him, does just his, the way that he is, does that make you want to be better? A better person in your work, in your life? Just a better person. If your being around him influences you positively, then he's a good man. If he shows you where you can improve, he cares about you and he's a good man. So he's a keeper. All right, so that's 11 of 21. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna continue this on the blog. So head on over to thelovechest.com for the last 10 questions that you can ask yourself when you're trying to figure out if he's a good man. All right, guys, thank you for watching, ladies. Thank you so much. Uh, please visit the blog, thelovechest.com. Please subscribe to my channel, The Love Chest. And of course, leave a comment because I would love to hear from you. In fact, add some more questions of your own. Thanks guys for watching. I'm gonna talk to you later.